Yeah, really proud of our team. Um, you know, it was a pretty emotional game last night. A lot of things happening. Uh, I thought we kept our composure really well. I think we have for the last two nights, honestly. Uh, played to win. And, you know, for me, that, that showed up last night of uh, the maturity we showed, the composure. And going out and, and you know, getting a hard fought win. Does the dugout kind of take its cue from the hitters when somebody gets hit? If, if he's like Gunner, just takes his base, then they're, they stay calm as well. I think it depends on who you have in the dugout. I've been in, you know, I've been in some, I've been in some rowdy dugouts. I've been in some more quiet dugouts, and uh, yeah, anytime there's anybody gets hit, there's always a level of of uh, attention that everybody, you know, uh, notices and. The reaction might have something to do with that. Brandon, in terms of uh, your stolen bases this year, you guys are north of 84% success rate. You're like 16 or 17, I think, this month. I'm wondering if you think that you found sort of another level, uh, even in what you were able to do over last year. And um, is it is it tempting to you know even have a greater green light going forward? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, the tomfoolery. <laughs> um, I think that we are a, little, one, a year older, um, and that I'm talking about like guys like Gunner and Westberg um, that are picking their spots in, in picking great times. You know, we we don't have the green light all the time. There's certain guys in our team that do, mm -hmm. but I think we do a good job of picking spots for guys. I think we identify matchups we we want to exploit or take a chance on or in, in certain counts. Um, and we have some team speed. We have two, you know, Mateo's extremely fast, Sed's very fast. They're both really good base stealers. But then also we have some athletic guy, other athletic guys that, that run well, that um, pick, our, pick the spots pretty well. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, do, we put a lot of work into it. We put a, no more than in the past, honestly. I just think another year of major league experience for some of these guys, um, just getting a little smarter. Um, uh, maybe being a little bit more comfortable, a little more confident on the basis. And just specific to said, you know, your your frustration on his behalf this year has been, you know, clear. You made no secret of that. You've seen now well, it's 20 at bats. It's not a huge sample size, but something like 323, uh, two hits last night. Are you seeing a change in approach, or is it a change in results? So the, you know, things like hard hit percentage, all the things that he was doing well dating back to 2021, those hadn't been changing so far this year. No, for me, um, a little bit more confident at the plate, honestly. Uh, I think he was working on some mechanical things a few weeks ago. I think that's starting to take place now. I think sometimes when you start working on stuff, it doesn't happen overnight. There, there's some time that, that it takes, and um, he's just more on time with the fastball right now. And he's got a little bit better rhythm in the box, and, uh, and then because of that, I think the there's a level of confidence that he feels good about his swing. He feels good about where he is physically. Um, and so his at bats, especially the last couple of weeks, have been really, really good. Brandon, when you see a catcher, as a former catcher, make that throw in that spot with the game on the line, I mean, what's your big takeaway from you can't that? Can't do any better than that. That's uh, that's like a catcher's dream right there, honestly. That's like hitting a game-winning homer. Um, it's the same type of feeling when you when you throw a ball like that in that kind of spot and put it where he did um, in in a game-winning moment that there's there's uh, that's that's there's no better feeling from a catcher than that.